beautiful people welcome back to our platform and thank you so much for joining today guys if you want to study abroad come january 2025 then this is the time for you to actually do your application there is admissions or let me say admissions is going to start in this country denmark very soon so the reason why i'm actually making this video is because someone asked me to make the video and also because i have had it in mind so that you prepare yourself because some requirements may not be the same remember if you want to study in a country where you can migrate with your family then you should prepare and apply to denmark I am talking about the admissions that is going to like the semester that is going to start January ending and February of 2025 because right now you cannot apply to any school again in Denmark. Admissions for September had closed already. But if you want to move January with your family, then please prepare your application and submit by end of July, early August because most schools in Denmark are going to be opening soon. I will be giving you a list of five universities in Denmark and I will be telling you some few things you need to know. But first, before we go into that, let me draw your attention to the fact that most of these schools in Denmark, they deal with programs in the social sciences, the sciences and the arts. And like I said, admissions for January 2025 or February 2025 intake is going to commence at the end of July, early August and the deadline will be October. So please remember danish universities are highly competitive if you go to denmark there are a lot of opportunities for you but first locate copenhagen and i will tell you why you should first of all target copenhagen now remember ielts is also a very important requirement if you really want to get admissions into danish universities and also remember that denmark is very competitive right so if you are trying to apply or if you are to apply make sure your motivation letter is document number one that should be very powerful and the second document should be your ielts most schools in denmark will ask you just for band 6.5 so it's not that bad now let's take a look at the universities the first school you should take is the university of copenhagen now if you want to apply to the university of copenhagen there is another school technical university of copenhagen but for now i'm talking about the university of copenhagen i have a friend at technical university of copenhagen so if you are applying to study in denmark university of copenhagen is very competitive tuition fee is very high compared to other schools advantage here is that you can easily get a job in copenhagen let's just say if you were to study at the university of arbok jobs in arbok are usually somehow scarce but it doesn't mean that you're not going to get but within two weeks three weeks you may be working in copenhagen if you are, uh, arrive there on time also before i even forget please if you want to move to denmark and you are thinking of moving with your family consider who is going to be applying for a school a program I will advise you to give the application to the woman if you are married and your spouse, I mean your wife, she has qualifications and requirements. Why not? Let her apply for the program so that you go in as a dependent and you work because the more I understand a man is very strong, right? But again, the two of you can apply to increase your chances if she gets in fine if she doesn't get in and you get it fine rather than one person stay and one person do the application at the end of the day maybe none of you get it so i would just suggest the two of you do the application in case you want to move with family it's very important you can move with family and after that after your studies you can get three years of postgraduate work permit when you go in you can work part-time right then your spouse will work full-time this is how it is in denmark and there are a lot of opportunities child care benefits holiday benefit child birth health benefits and a whole lot of things right so that is it like i said copenhagen the university of copenhagen is very competitive and you should check it out another school you should put into consideration is technical university of copenhagen this school is equally very competitive and uh, it's possible that you can get admission but again like i said you need to explain to them your motivation letter is very important so put it into consideration then other documents like your transcripts and of course your degree certificate are equally important now i will advise you if you have a master's degree already please do not apply like do not apply for maybe a a, a program uploading your master's pro your master's degree right do not apply for it but 
I would say again that if you have a master's degree, keep your master's aside. I already mentioned that. Then use your bachelor's degree. But when you are applying for a bachelor's degree now, it should be related to something that you are doing at the moment. Let's assume that you are not in school now, right? Let's just say you graduated since maybe 2020 and you graduated with physics. Now, since you got a master's already in physics and you've been working for like three years or four years and you haven't been in school, you should uh, let's just say you are working out as an accountant right you may find ways to twist the program to apply for something related to accountancy right because it may help you go in easily because at the end of the day the visa officer will want to know why you are applying for that program now after being out of school for more than how many years or even if you want to apply for the same program you can apply but be ready to defend yourself because the visa officer is going to ask you why is it that you have not been in school for this time and you want to go back to school you can tell them that there is a job maybe you applied for a job and uh, you were rejected because they said there are certain things you didn't do and stuff like that you quote them right but make them believe that what you want to go study is what you are going to come back and better your country or oh, there is a job somewhere waiting for you which you can back it up it's so important right now I equally talk about Technical University of Copenhagen. Like I said, IELTS is very important. Do not forget that you are going to pay an application fee. Now, the application fee for Denmark, I think it should be 75,000 uh, francs CFR. I don't remember how many thousand. Uh, I think it should be about, I don't know how much in Danish krona, but check the school website. It's very important. Like I said, when you go to any school website, type the name of the school, go there and check the requirements and check the dates and everything you need. But remember, IELTS is compulsory. There was somebody who called me some time ago, I think about four or five months back, and told me he got admissions to Denmark. No, about three or four months, he got admissions to Denmark and he didn't use IELTS even right the gpa was not that powerful so it all depends on what you submit to the admissions team and the school now i would have said that you should apply to maybe three or four schools if your gpa is very low but the problem now is the application fee you have to pay application fee for all the schools right that is it some schools will accept you to pay maybe to take two programs but a school like the university of Aalborg, which i'm going to talk about now is in now denmark and they can permit you apply to three different programs make sure the program you applying to is related to what you did for your bachelor's and like i said do not forget admissions at the university of Aalborg begins in august okay then it's going to run through september and the last time to apply is october so definitely it should be the first of oct or of august or maybe the 30th of july so get ready with your documents for application it's important now another school you should look at in denmark is arus university Arus is one hour 30 minutes from away from Arbok and this school is also important if you are looking at places with more job opportunities in Denmark you should apply to Arus or Copenhagen all right put this as your first choice programs before you start looking at maybe Arbok or Roskinde right though Roskinde is also closer to Copenhagen it's also easy for you to work but again consider Arus now you have to go to the school website and check a school like Arbok they have a lot of programs water science um, uh, electrical engineering there are also some medical programs not nursing but medical programs so you have to check them out tuition fee in this school range from uh, like seven thousand euros per semester you are paying per semester guys so for one year you are going to be charged like fourteen thousand euros or more it depends and when you get admissions in any of these schools you have to pay first semester complete sometimes when you pay the embassy is not going to ask you again for proof of funds i'm going to bring these details later i have a video about this so you can check the channel as well I want to do the updated version of the video because some things have changed. Then, after our rules, you can go to Roskinde University, Roskilde University. It's also closer to Copenhagen. You can maybe stay in Roskinde and study in Copenhagen or study, stay in Copenhagen and study in Roskinde. Depending on the train you are using because some are faster, some are not fast. But again, there are jobs because, of course, since it's closer to Copenhagen, you would be able to find jobs easily. Remember, accommodation is also a problem in Denmark. So you have to be careful of the place you want to go study. Like I already said, more programs are available. If you want history or physics or anything, you are going to get 
in this universities and the good news here is all of them will be open for admissions for against uh february january february intake so check them out and then do the application then you also have southern university of southern denmark which is also in denmark and of course this is another good school for you to check i think there are some programs i saw at this university which do not cost above four thousand euros but they are just few okay so you should check them out like i said the bigger the name of the school the higher the tuition fee and this tuition is paid per semester not per year so and you have to pay at least 5 million cfa francs before you can apply for a study visa to study in denmark there are a lot of opportunities to study in denmark guys so if you have a means please go in and apply it's very important for you to put all this into consideration just look for money go in and apply and before you know you will be good to go i'm going to explain to you visa processes very soon in other videos Videos. so do not worry yourself at all everything you are going to see here check the channel anytime you watch this video just go to the channel and scroll up and down up or down up or down you are going to find the videos you are looking for i hope this helps you we will meet again in another one but please before you go do not forget to like this video and share the video as well do not forget to subscribe below okay it's so important to us thank you so much till we meet again in another one